So this is phase one of the first prototype solo double paddle canoe sitting on the strong back with the molds in place and the keelson has just been uh, uh, temporarily held down with some zip ties. On the front I have one of the stem or stern pieces, whichever you prefer. Looking down, the strong back is a 2x4 connected to a 1x6. I have 2x2 two two strips set across the 2x6 to attach the station molds to. And they're all straight up and down and in line crosswise. Uh, the keelson will go on top here. I've just cut it to length and uh, we'll start fixing the stem and the stern. Um, I've just drilled the first set of holes in the end of the keelson here where it'll be stitched together to the in this case this is the stern so that's how where we're at so far this is the steam box that I've put together we got a uh, basin catch any water that might drip out of the pipe there is a uh, water kettle uh, purchased for eight dollars second hand attached to a black PVC pipe and uh, the end is just stopped up with some plastic bags. Total cost of this arrangement, eight dollars. See how it works. Stringers are almost complete and the uh, gunnel's been hung on just to get a look for what it's gonna be like in the end. End of day one. Okay, here's a shot of the stringers lashed on to the, uh, what would this be? In this case, this is the uh, stem. Lashings here, so on, so on. And I've just pegged uh, the gunnel on. I have a skewer going through with a little bit of epoxy just to set it then I'll drill it out and stitch it as well so the gunnels are on the stringers are all on and it's just about time to spark up the steamer and start the steam bending process for the ribs Low budget steam box at work. Can be a slow process, one stick at a time. Eesh. So this is the shot of the frame complete. The red cedar ribs were torn out and replaced with ash ribs. Red cedar ribs were an inch and a half wide. The ash ribs are one inch wide. I think they're stronger. And um, it's ready to come off the mold. And I cross my fingers and take it off. We'll see what happens.
Very light. Very simple. Very elegant. Status report. Uh, the gunnels have been attached. The inwells have been attached, trimmed. The ribs have all been trimmed off. It now has a coat of varnish over the entire skeleton. Um, we're getting ready to install the flooring and I've put together a pattern that I've selected. These will be the floorboards. There, that's a better view, I reckon. And with any luck, we'll have the thwarts installed today. Touch wood. Oh, and the decking has all been installed too. That was a bear. Whew. More to come. Floors are in. Had to make some changes from the plan. It was a pain in the claven, as they say. Uh, two coats of varnish. This little bit of nastiness here all be covered up when the skin goes on. Yep. That's how it looks. In whales on, gunnels on, deck is on. Floor is in. It's looking pretty groovy. Thwarts, I guess, are next. So the skin has been uh, tacked on using heat and bond tape, glue tape around the gunnels. It's an 8 ounce Dacron polyester, a real bear to work with. I think next time I might consider using 6 ounce. Uh, still needs to be shrunk down. I've just been working on the uh, ends. and. Um, what I've decided to do is a nice little traditional stitch on the on the stem and the stern. So I started with a uh, basting stitch just to pull it up tight around the stern itself. Then I cut uh, one side about a half inch long, cut the other side about a quarter inch, and I'll do just a rolling um, rolled hem with a rolling stitch to tie it off. So it'll look like uh, like this one here when it's done. Pretty typical skin on frame uh, finished end. And I used the artificial sinew. Lovely stuff. Love it. So uh, next step is to put the iron on it, shrink it down, and see what we have. Nice bit of skin and work. A difficult task. The first time. Maybe the next one will be easier. Tight as a drum.
That's she. Rub rails are on. And the first coat of uh, varnish on the exterior is on. Time for lunch. Here we go, two coats of varnish. Gonna have to be careful because I can see the next one's gonna wanna sag, so gotta go thin, thin coats. That's the key. Starting to look like a real boat. Trying to think of a name for it still. More to come. So the numbers are 11 feet, five inches in length. Has a rocker of about an inch and a half. Maximum width is 32 inches. Um, hmm. Depth, 12 inches. And I'm not certain, but uh, it looks like the shear rises about, from the middle, about uh, four inches. Very lovely, lovely craft. I like it a lot, so far.